Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. God bless you all. In Jesus' name, and blessed evening to you all. Wherever you're hearing the sound of my voice, it's another wonderful moment again for us to study the word of our Father. And I give glory to God for His grace that enables us to be alive, to see glorious moments like this. I say, may His name alone be praised in Jesus' name. And I want to also say Happy New Month to everyone. It's my first time of coming to life in this month of November. In tender mercies of God. So I congratulate everyone that made it. It's by the grace of God. Today, by the grace of God, we'll be looking at what the Lord has laid in my heart, which I titled, It is Written. It is Written. Mm. It's not that it needs to be put to writing again. That means it has already been documented. It has already be placed in order. It's already there. It is written. These are the words we heard from our Lord Jesus Christ. And we'll be looking at down deeply to that word and learning from it by the help of the Holy Spirit. Quickly, let us have a word of prayer. Adonai, I thank you, I bless you, I give you glory, honor, and adoration. I exalt your holy name because you are God. Thank you for this great privilege you've given to me again for you to speak through me. I have no ways of my own. I empty myself. Come and speak through me right now. And let every word that will proceed out of my mouth, let it bring transformation. May I not speak on my own in the name of Jesus. Thank you, glorious and faithful Father, for in Jesus' glorious name, amen. Hallelujah. As I said before, I said that the title of my message is, It is Written. It is Written. Quickly, let's see what the Bible says in the book of Matthew 4. Matthew 4 is a little and long reading from 1 to 11. Matthew 4, 1 to 11, it said, There was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward in hunger. Three said, and when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that this stone be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Verse 5, then the devil taketh him up into the holy city and set him on a pinnacle of the temple and said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angel charge concerning thee, and in this end they shall bear thee up, lest any time thou dish this foot against a stone. So Jesus said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord the God. Again the devil taketh him up into an exceedingly high mountain, and showeth him all the kingdom of the world, and the glory of them. And said unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then said Jesus unto him, Get thee and set up. For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Level the last verse. Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Hallelujah. The Bible makes us to understand that after Jesus has fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, as a human, no, Jesus is 100% human and 100% God. So the human nature in him was hungry. He needed to eat. 
And the devil knows what he means. He came to him to tempt him and make him to understand. For him to make the bread, the stone to become bread. The answer that Jesus gave to the devil was from the word of God. Jesus made him to understand that a man shall not live by bread alone. That is taken from the book of Deuteronomy 3 and uh, Deuteronomy 8, verse 3. He replied him with the word that has been written. He made him to understand whatsoever that I need now to overcome, whatsoever that I need now to defeat you, has already been put in place. Jesus don't need to die the phone if it was possible to call the father and say, Daddy, what do I need to say? He said, he said it is written. This passage is making us to understand that everything that we needed has already been provided before we were born. God put everything we needed in life in place before we were born. So Jesus tapped from the warehouse he said it is written man shall not live by bread alone you are there hearing the sound of my voice i came to announce and encourage you to live with a a conscious mind that whatsoever that you needed in life has already been made available before you were born when god said Adam in the garden of Eden. Before he brought Adam, everything was made available. Quickly, let me jump to the book of 1 Peter 1 verse 3. He said, God's divine power has given us everything we needed to live. A truly religious life through our knowledge of, of the one who called us to share his own glory and godliness. So here yeah, the Bible is making us to understand that God Almighty has already, he has already made available everything that we needed. It just for us to apprehend the wisdom. For us to be able to apply it. For us to know it. First of all, the knowledge is needed. And when you grab it, you know it, then you can apply it. Jesus replying, it is written. Man shall not live by bread alone. The devil himself also quoted the scripture from the book of Psalm 95 verse 11. That if he cast himself, he said, God will give his angel charge over him. He quoted it from the book of Psalm. Every scripture that Jesus, every word that Jesus used to reply, the devil, everything is from the word. Jesus answered from Deuteronomy 6 verse 3 again. He said, Jesus said unto him, it is written again, thou shalt not tempt the Lord the God. That is in the book of Deuteronomy. Then the devil went further to also press more and make him to understand that if he can bow down to worship him. The response of Jesus is also from Deuteronomy 6 verse 13. He also quoted it from Deuteronomy 6 verse 13 that thou shalt not worship the Lord the God. And him alone shall thou serve. Thou shall worship the Lord of God. And him alone shall thou serve. You also bring it out from the word of God. So the question here is. How was Jesus able to live a life of it is written? How was he able to respond to devil from the word of God? What did he do? Let us see what the Bible says in the book of Luke. Luke 4, verse 17 to 18. Hear what the Bible said. It said, He opened the book and found the place where this is written. The Lord has put his spirit in me because he appointed me to tell the good news to the poor. He has sent me to tell the captivity they are free. The captive they are free. And to tell the blind that they can see again. The Bible makes us so understand that Jesus himself opened the book. I'm here to encourage you. 
for you to discover what is written about you. You must open the book. The Bible is not made to place under your pillow. You must open the book to find out what has been written. You must open the book to find out what the promises of God concerning your life. And when Jesus opened the book, he found something. He found the place where this was written. When you open the book, you will get to a place where you will find what God has said concerning you. It will get to a place where you will discover where, what God has said concerning you. It, it discovers something that the Lord has put his spirit in me. Jesus discovered that the spirit that is in him is not the demonic spirit, but the spirit of God. So through the word of God, you'll be able to discover that. God himself put his spirit in you. And that spirit is there for the purpose. The spirit of God in you is God himself. The God that we serve is a spirit. He cannot stand physically to talk to the poor. He cannot stand physically to share the good news to people. He cannot talk to the blind physically. He cannot talk to those who are blind physically. But he did something. He invested himself inside you. He put himself in you. What a privilege to carry God. He put himself in you for a reason. So that through you, he will be able to relate to the poor. He will be able to relate to those who are in captive. He will be able to talk to the blind. He will be able to give hope to people. Just like what I'm doing now. The Holy Spirit is the one that is speaking through me. Because God as a spirit being, he cannot stand and speak on Facebook. So Jesus discovered what was written about him. In the word of God. Through the word of God, he was able to know who he is in flesh. He was able to know his purpose here. He was able to know the reason why he is here. Let us also see what Daniel did in the life of Daniel. Hallelujah. Let's see Daniel 9. 9 verse 2. Let's see what he says. I'll be reading from a New International Version. He said, in the first year of history, I, Daniel, understood from the scriptures, according to the word of the Lord given to Jeremiah, the prophet, that the desolation of Jerusalem would last 70 years. My God. It has already been documented that the, 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 the people of Jerusalem, the people, the, people, the Israelites, that's their desolation. They are them being in, in a, let me say, in prison. We, we have a expiring date. It's to last for 70 years. God has already revealed it to Jeremiah. And it was put into the book. It was documented. It has already been said. It has already been written. That at this so, so, so time, you will get your freedom. Daniel is revealing to us what he did through Daniel 9 verse 2. He said he understood by book. He, that means if he has not taken time to study, to give himself to the word, he wouldn't have been able to know what was said by God concerning them. They would have still been in captivity. He said through the scriptures, I now know. That the prophecy has been released. That God has said it. That after 70 years, you will be free. The reason why some of us are still where we are is because we refuse to give ourselves to the word of God. We refuse to set our time to study the word of God. So that we can discover that which has been written by God concerning us. Daniel discovered what has been written concerning them when he opened the scriptures. 
Jesus discovered what was in him, the spirit of God that, that is in him, through the word. He opened it and he discovered it. I want you to know one thing that everything about your life, what you are going to become in this earth realm, what God expected of you, is not documented in the heart of man. But God has inspired men to put them together and we call it the Bible. So everything about you that has been written, God is not going to write a new Bible because of you again. Everything has already been concluded. It is there. It's just for you to navigate. It's for you to open it and discover it. It's for you to give yourself to the world the way Jesus did, the way Daniel did. And you will discover that which has been said concerning you. Some of us, we are living a life here, but we are so confused. <laughs> I want you to know one thing. The answer to that question in your heart has been written. The solution to that problem has been written, has been made available. I make us understand in the book of 2 Peter 1 verse 3 that everything we needed here on earth has already been made available. It's out of ignorance that is making some of us to live aside what God expected us. It may, as out of ignorance, it's making us to live as a slave instead of living as an ambassador, as, the, as, as kings and queens. As the Bible stated, it, it is written. What is that thing that you want to know? It has already been documented. It's in the word of God. Let's look at some scriptures and see what the Bible says to us. How the word encourages us to give ourselves to it. In the book of 2 Timothy 2 verse 5, he said, So they to show themselves approved unto God. A workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly divided the word of truth. So the Bible is making us to understand that it has already been written that the only way you can make yourself approve unto God is when you study the word. The only way that you can divide the word of truth is when you give yourself to study. The Bible says, study to show themselves approved unto God. How can you show yourself approved unto God? It's when you give yourself to the word. When you give yourself to the word of God, you will not be ashamed to tell somebody about Christ. One of the things that deprive people from going out there to tell people about Jesus is because they don't really know what to say. The word is not in them. And everything that you need to say out there, every ingredients that you need in order for you to whistle out there, in order for you, the, the stars in your crown to increase in heaven, has been documented in a book which is called the Bible. So there is no new thing. That will be added again. Everything has been concluded. He says, study to show themselves approved. The Bible is not saying, study when you feel like. It's not saying, study when you are in the service. He says, study, study it. So that you can show yourself approved unto God. The only way you can emulate Christ as he stated it that it is written is when you give yourself to the word. It's when you create time to study the word of your father. We are in the kingdom of light. We are in this kingdom of God, the kingdom of peace. And everything in the kingdom for you to know about them has been put in a writing. Which is the Bible. So when you don't take our time to open it. You will not be able to discover it. When you give your time to study. Through the help of the Holy Spirit. You will not know that which God has said concerning you. Jesus said it is written. So that which you are looking for. 
That way that is giving you problem. The reason why you are not sleeping in the night. You have been wetting your pillow with tears every night. Has already been written. Has already been written. So you just need to rise up. Give yourself to the word. And he gradually will discover it. The way Jesus discovered. The way Daniel discovered. He also discovered it. Hallelujah. And also see what the Bible says. In Joshua 1 verse 8. It's a popular verse. He says something. He said. So did this book of instruction continually. I'm reading from New Living Translation. He said meditate on it day and night. So you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. My God. So the word of God is making us to understand that. It has already been written here before we were born. That the only way that we can be able to obey the word of God, the will of God. The only way we can be able to mm, prosper in everything that we do. Is when we study. Every day. And it be the end there. It's a study, a meditate. Not only in the morning. It's a day and night. So by the time you study this word, you meditate on it day and night. He said, through this word, you'll be able to obey the will of your father. Because what the mind of God is the word of God. Through you studying the word of God, you'll be able to know what he expects from you. Then you apply it. He said, through this studying and meditation daily, you will be able to prosper. I said it before. I said the reason why some of us are where we are is because we have given ourselves to the ministry of laziness. Some of us, we can read the newspaper. We can take our time to, to watch seasonal movie, the, the movie of the kingdom that you don't belong to, that will not edify you. But when it comes to the word of God, it becomes a load. It becomes a problem. This is a strategy that the devil is used. He knows that when you know the word, my God, you know that you carry God. You know that God lives in you. There is a way you will operate. You will know that everything that you needed in this planet, it has already been provided for you. Jesus paid everything in full. But when you, are, when you lack the word, you will beg for what belongs to you. Hallelujah. He said, it is written. It is written. See what the Bible says in Jeremiah 15 verse 16. He said, your word we have found and I ate them. And your word was to me the joy and rejoicing of, of my heart. For I am called by your name, O Lord God of us. This Jeremiah speaking. This man said when he found the word, he did not just open, he said he ate it. He, as he chewed it, he ate the word. And it becomes something else in, in his system. It becomes joy. It becomes rejoicing to his heart. So you find the word. It has been written before you were born. What do you do? You, you, as in, you, you eat the word. You eat it. Did you believe in it? Yes. What do you do? You begin to confess it. You begin to look, look at different scriptures. What have been said concerning you? The Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy 28 verse 13. It says you are the head and not the tail. It has already been written before you were born. So when you embrace it, you eat it. You begin to confess it. If your position, you were seeing it that is at the back. You see, it begins to manifest. You go to the front because it has already been written. You confess it. I am the head and not the tail. And that's it. Deuteronomy 15, he said, I shall lay to many nations. I shall not borrow. It has already been said before you were born. So when you don't study, you can't discover it. You will beg from one door to another. So when you study your word, the word of God, you discover it in the word you are, as in you'll be able to apprehend the wisdom through the help of the Holy Spirit. You apply the strategy, the direction it will give to you. And you see, you, you operate. 
based on what has been written concerning you. Exodus 23 verse 26 make us to understand there shall not be barren in the land. It has already been written. Barrenness is not of God. So when you need to give yourself to the world to discover it so that you continue to confess it and become part and parcel of it, it will come to divine manifestation. Psalm 118, 17 says something. It says, I shall not die, but live to declare the words of God. So when you don't know it, you are not giving yourself to the world. You don't know that it has already been written. When any sickness comes, your heart begins to trouble you. That maybe I want to die now. But when you know it, you've given yourself to the world. You'll be able to reply to that symptom that Jesus did. Jesus told the Satan and said, it is written. Man shall not live the bread. He shall not live by bread alone. So I want to encourage you hearing the sound of my voice. Give yourself to the study of the word of God. Give yourself to meditation. Because through the word of God, you'll be able to know who you are. You'll be able to know what has been written concerning you. Through the word of God, you'll be able to know the right thing to say at the right time. Through his word, you will be able to be renewed daily. Through the word of God, your faith will increase. So I encourage you. And last thing, what I want to use to encourage you. Don't go and kill yourself because you want to cram all this place that the word is in the Bible. Genesis says, so you want to cram everything. The one that you can be able to carry in your brain, carry it. But what is important is that you know the word. If you see all the scriptures that Jesus used to reply Satan, he did not mention where we can find it in the Bible. But it was correct. When you hear it, you not make a research. So I encourage you, for men to understand, that is the reason the Bible was, you know, arranged the way we see it. Genesis, uh, uh, Genesis, uh, Esotot, and so forth and so on. So don't give yourself that you want to cram all the scriptures on your head. Give yourself to the word. What you need is inside the word. It has been written. Concerning your marriage, there is a word that has been written. You need to search it. Concerning your children, a word has been written. Concerning the assignment God has given to you. Word has been written. Concerning uh, the next step you need to take is in the word. The Bible said in Jeremiah 29 verse 11. It said the plan that I taught towards you is a plan of good and not of evil. He said to take you to an expected end. It has already been documented in the word. You need to make a research and search it. You need to discover it. You need to know it and confess it, chew it, and it becomes part and parcel of you. Don't, don't forget that the Bible makes us understand in the book of Jeremiah. He said that before you were born, he knows you. He formed you. So for you to be able to know everything he loaded concerning your life, we give yourself to the world. When you give yourself to the world, you'll be able to live a life of it is written. May God bless each and every one of you. In Jesus' name. Let us have a word of prayer. I don't know. We give you praise. We honor you. We magnify your name because you are God. Thank you for all that you have done. Thank you. Never leave us nor forsake us. Blessed be your name in the name of Jesus. Lord, we've heard your word. I pray for greater grace, O oh God, King of glory, to shower upon each and every one of us to give our, our time to study your word in the name of Jesus. Sweet Holy Spirit, we invite you to keep helping us to give ourselves to the word. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, glorious and faithful Father. For in Jesus' glorious name, we pray. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you very much for joining me to do life. Bye for now.